Baby Jade, you wanted to know about the beekeeping stuff, so here we are. We. Oui. <laughs> you asked if the, bee, if the bee suits are hot. Yes, unless it's January, they're hot. So we're going to put them on for you now. So there's three pieces to a bee suit, a normal bee suit. This is one of them. It's called a hive tool. That's how you go inside and you split all the frames apart, you lift them out, and you scrape things, and sometimes you smush a couple. There's a hive beetle in the hive that likes to destroy the hive, so we smash them with this. And then there's gloves, and they're extra long, like this. This is leather, this is canvas, this is a vent more canvas. Put these on last. Ask me how I know. So then, I wear the full bee suit because, well, I'm allergic, not because I like to sweat. Yeah, hers goes from her boots all the way past her head. And I just wear this one. Can you come a little closer? So there's a, there's a screen here that we can see through. There's a hat and a rim. And if you look really close, I've got like hot glue here. That's because I found out there were some holes in it. And holes aren't good in a bee suit. Then this is a Velcro flap. And then there's zippers under it. The Velcro flap covers this hole that the bees can get in. So if you put the Velcro down, now the bees can't get in. And this zipper is there so that when you're wearing it, you can unzip it and the hood can flip back. I'll put it on real quick. There's some secrets about it, too. <laughs> so now it's, it's on. And then there's... See, so she has to zip her, her veil. That's called a veil. This is called a veil. Hers zips on. Mine, I guess mine zips on, too. But then there's these straps right here that you put around your finger so that when you put your gloves on, your sleeves don't pull up. That keeps the sleeves down. Now that glove is on. This glove is on. Now your arms are double yep. covered. Yes. This goes here. And then if you look really close, there's a hole in my glove right there. Sometimes that causes problems. Sometimes it gets stung there. And my gloves have G's on them because I'm the main G. No, I bought these used from a guy named Gary. So. He put a G on him. So she has a hard hat just because she's special. That's right. So this holds the bees out. Uh, I got a treat in there. I got one in there once. I don't know how. Oh, I got Audrey's name tag. Aww. She died. Actually, she didn't die. She's doing well. I just don't know which one she is anymore. Then I got another treat in here. It's a little broken. Did I throw it away? Yeah, I must have thrown it away. That was my queen clip, and I accidentally stepped on it. Oh, it looks like a piece of it. Yeah. <laughs> I must have thrown it away. Okay. So this is the bee suit. Keeps the bees out. It has pockets. It's hot. But it's not that hot. It's not too bad. <laughs> when it's like 90 degrees outside, it's really hot. But now, it's not too, too bad. So we're going to take you up to our bee yard and show you the inside of your hive. Do you ever get stung being a beekeeper? Every time. No, that's not true. Oh. Did you get stung last time? I didn't because I wear this suit the whole time. Right. So yes, you get stung, not very often, unless you're being really aggressive with the bees. If you're being nice to the bees, they typically don't sting you. But most of the time I'm not nice. I'm, I'm just aggressive. I want to get in and get out. So I get stung. 
and I just want to stare at them so they don't really scare me. Yeah, she goes slow. So that's our pea suits. <laughs>